It was great to be in the Liverpool Plains just a couple of weeks ago to congratulate the committee on their success of winning $199,981 grant from the New South Wales Government, meaning work will begin soon. I extend a warm invitation to the people from across our great state. Take a weekend, make a journey to Corindai, see this great artwork come to life. Corindai is part of the Liverpool Plains and we are the start of the gateway to the northwest on the Camilla Royal Highway. Uliagu Gabba, Nayagu Nanu Imilare, Nama Birali Yalagamaru Nare Yalagau, Nama Rurage Nale Dewan Garaga Yilahadu. My wife and I were travelling through Victoria in the Solo Art Trail, and every time we stopped, we noticed how many people were stopped there as well. And these are little towns, nothing, nothing near the size of Corindai. So the seed of the idea was saying that perhaps we should do this in Corindai. And so when the opportunity came up to paint the silos, that was a perfect fit for Rotary. So the support from the Salvation Army, the support from the state government, has given us now the ability to, do, to carry out this project. In addition to all the other support we've had, I think the most important support we've had though is from the community. Why has this happened? because we've consulted with the community at every possible opportunity as to what they'd like to see in the artwork. Aya, Kuliye, Ninde, Naranu, Nianu, Wanaganu, Yal, Mal, Da. After such a long planning period, it is very exciting to have this up and running now. So we had some help from uh, Archibald Prize nominee David Darcy. Um, to, to have a look through the concept designs. We also engaged Nikki Parshall, who's the art conservator at the New South Wales State Library, um, to give us some opinion to help us work out what, what the best um, artwork was that we could, we could use and what would last into time. The design we've got incorporates all those ideas and it's a journey uh, through time uh, that Peter's come up with and we'll be revealing that as it happens. Every town needs a heart and our silos will be that heart. Peter Ryan, a wonderful artist from Western Australia, is coming over to bring these silos to life in our little town. We will be part of the Great Australian Silo Art Trail. We will be a dot on that map and people are going to come to this town to see these silos and so much more. Hi, I'm Peter Ryan. I paint murals, fine art, illustrations, children's books, and even animation. I take a lot of pride and have a lot of passion for all my artworks. Crindai is beautiful. Can't imagine a more perfect location for a solo than in the heart of the town. And I'm looking forward to painting something amazing that'll make your silo a must-see destination. Wallaba, Karahabal, Dewan, Gagi, Karahabal, Yarada, Gabaninda. The Krinda Silo Art uh, project is very exciting uh, and creates a lot of opportunities for our communities right around the Liverpool Plains. We're also planning to have a light show and the thinking behind that is to keep visitors overnight and also get repeat visitation because we can change the light show. We can involve businesses, we can involve community groups, we can promote event, local events, so it's endless what we can do. And all that, you know, on this beautiful canvas of the painted silo, I can't wait. The Corindai Silo Art is a project for the people, by the people. For the first time, people will be able to see the artwork and the light show as they are actually developing. How exciting is that? Keep watching as this project comes to life just like our little town will. Come and join us at the Gateway to the Northwest and Australia's ultimate road journey. <laughs>